So when we think about architecture and we think about the character of a place, we think about the essence of how it's going to feel, we often go back in time first. We will go back and look at what came from this region. Why did the original cracker settlers live in homes a certain way? You know, a lot of people talk about sustainability. They talk about uh, being green. I think about the original green. I think about people that built homes for the environments in which they live. So when we think about the architectural style of Babcock, we want to honor those old traditions, but bring it forward with today's technologies, the way we can build homes that will be green, that will lower your cost of ownership, that will make it comfortable, but beautiful, all in its simplicity. It doesn't mean we have to get carried away with a lot of movements in, a homes, in the homes. We, we often think about just very simple, beautiful forms. Um, and I think you'll see that across both the residential side and downtown life. Downtown will be uh, a little more of a, a present forward sort of approach. So we, you'll see hints of a Babcock farm or ranch or cracker style um, embedded there, but with today's modern materials, with maybe a little more glass because we're able to do it that way. So, you know, we have to sometimes go backwards to go forward. And I think our architectural style will, will surprise people because it is honest, because it is genuine. Um, and that you could go look back in, in old areas and see hints of it that will be displayed here. Uh, we also want it to be, whether you're building a thousand square foot cottage or a 4,000 acre or 4,000 square foot, you know, estate property, maybe on a little ranch, uh, that we create here, those are all going to be wonderful and similar. And there'll be great, as I'd like to say, cousins on the street that can all live together.